So you remember that video I made, the Total War Game Nobody Likes video? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's about to be blown out the goddamn water. Now, all we can all agree on is we all used to get our rocks off to roam Total War, but what I what I really can't agree on is getting your rocks off to roam Total War Alexander. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at the DLC for Roam Total War, the original, which is um, definitely interesting to say the least. I really used to love the Barbarian Invasion one, but I never really got around to playing Rome Total War Alexander. For one, it was never bundled with anything, it was always its own thing, and second of, I'm just, I'm just not that into you. Sorry, Mr. Alexander. So merely when you get in the game, you realize that the map kind of looks like the lead developer, whoever's in charge of the map, had soap in his eyes, a gun to his head, and they said, just draw the map! Well, that's really weird, because the, the rest of the map, like, including Persia and over here in India, it doesn't look that bad, but it's, it's just Europe. Every every time I look at Greece specifically, it, it just... What's going on? Oh, first turn in, I got attacked. That's just... Great, isn't it? Yeah, in my head, I thought, hey, this might be like the film 300 would have something to defend against the oncoming Persians, but, um, I, I, I don't think that's how this is gonna go. Ah, famous Macedonian tactics here. Just run your cavalry round the back and just take them from behind like a real man. Uh, I was expecting to lose this battle, but so far, it looks like I'm going to win it. If this was what he was up against, I don't think Alexander was that great after all. I'm sorry, but <laughs> why does this always happen to me? <laughs> what are they doing? Why, Leo? Literally, what are you doing? God, you're. <laughs> you, need to, you need to aim a bit to the side. There. What's this guy doing? Yeah, this is exactly why Turtle War games are just the the best thing ever. Especially these old ones. I, I just. I, I just can't. I, I literally, I... I, I can't... What is going on? Oh, there you go. They, they finally figured it out. They, you, you, gotta, you gotta poke them. You actually gotta fight the enemy, guys. You just... Why, the, why are they walking like... What are they doing? Why are they... Why are they just walking? I have no comment on what just occurred in this battle. When in doubt, he'll camp it out. Alexander the Great, 2019. When in doubly doubt... Bridge camp it out. Alexander the Great, 2019. I'm sorry, there's just nothing more satisfying than doing this. Just look at them all fall over. Oh, damn, would you look at that? There's like a Persian mosh pit going on. There you go, I just wiped out an entire village over a bridge. Kind of just like a really boring Vietnam. All right, so the way this campaign works is a bit weird. You actually have a turn countdown timer is that is that how to say it so you have a hundred turns to conquer all the stuff you need to conquer i've, do, I've got 23 turns left and this is all i have so <laughs> uh, it's gonna be tight even though i'm winning these like really big battles and i'm just slaughtering everyone out uh, no sorry you didn't capture 50 provinces and these two specific regions in a hundred turns you lost right so it's napu kudrakara Kr Na napu kudra napu kudrakara of nihavid Nihavand versus Alexander the Butcher. Not quite Alexander the Great, that, is it? Oh, wait, no, he's not the Butcher anymore. He's Alexander Scarface. Oh, her damn son. Oh, you conquered, like, all of the known world, but no. They capture this one province right here, so it's game over, apparently. <laughs> right, okay, so let's move on to Barbarian Invasion. Now, I can say without a doubt, I very much enjoyed Barbarian Invasion. It's probably one of my favourite DLCs of any Total War ever. It's incredibly fun. It's probably going to be very dated nowadays, but you know what? I'm willing to give it the old Rambler try. So, we actually have a few people we can play as here, and uh, the only way I can really describe this is kind of like a mix of playing hordes in um, Medieval Total War. You know how the Mongols spawn in? You can play as hordes, basically. That's where this idea came from. It's this game right here, and... Um, you can play quite a few people and try and take down the Roman Empire or the Eastern Roman Empire. It's, it's really up to you which one you want to split up. But um, I feel like I'm going to go ahead and play Mr. Hun over here. Oh my god, look how many armies I start with. Oh, Jesus. All right, so we're going to take all of these guys over here. And we're going to immediately just march them all the way to Rome. Look, that didn't take long. It actually took like... 20 turns or something to get over here, but I, I've set up all my armies around all these Roman cities. I'm going to take them out in one swift, foul swoop, even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose half these armies once I take the first city, but we'll, we'll get to that. Also, here you go. Two birds, one stone. We're also going to attack Constantinople. <laughs> Wait, I just realized our leader's called Tukhuchen. He also has a witch and a slave trader with him. Where, where the hell's Attila? <laughs> has, has, has anyone seen Attila? And, you know, nothing against Tukjun the Hun, but it, I was really kind of hoping I could play as Attila here, but 
then again, let's not talk about Attila Total War. That's a... Woo! That's a whole other game, isn't it? Alright, so, um, whenever you take one of these cities as a tribe, you automatically start losing all of your other armies, of course. I, I don't know exactly how that's supposed to work, but as you can see, like, all these armies have just lost a bunch of men. You don't lose all of them, so we can still try and take more cities, but, um... Yeah, yeah, we, we gotta take take all this stuff real quick. And once we've taken the cities, we can just immediately start burning down their temples and replacing them with much, much better ones. Uh, the Shrine to Chinglu. Yeah. So, you know, I hired my diplomat just to see if I can make peace with the Romans, which they don't want. And I, I realize my diplomat is not wearing any clothes and is called Balamba. It's Balamba the Rambler. <laughs> Uh, of course, you take Rome, and then look who turns up. It's the damn Goths. Go, go away. Go get some sunlight, you weird Gothic weirdos. Oh, damn. There's something even weirder than the Goths. Look who's turned up. It's the Franks. Oh, Frenchies. Oh, that's a solid F in the chat for Tuck Chud. <laughs> Tuck <laughs> I'm starting to second guess settling in Italy, because now the Lombards have shown up. I, this is a bit of a hot space, isn't it? Okay, now, now the Ostrogoths have shown up. We, we've got enough Goths already. Yeah, I've got a sneaky suspicion that the Ostrogoths might be planning to attack me. <laughs> yeah, Alright, there you go. They attacked me. I, I think we need to find a new home. I don't think Italy's for us. I, I can't be bothered with these constant invasions coming through. So uh, we're just going to take these guys over here and we're going we're gonna to find a new place. Best part is, whenever we start running low on money, we can just hop off on the coast and uh, just go take over a village and burn it to the ground and take all the money. I mean, that's essentially what I do whenever I need money. I just ram into someone's house and claim it in the name of the Huns! And then when we're done, we send our boys back in the boat and we just leave some runaway slave spearmen to look after the city. I'm sure that won't go badly. Yeah, you know, I was going to sail all the way to Russia, but I, 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 think, I think London will do, honestly. Oh yeah, damn, do you remember when the uh, Huns went ahead and like took over London uh, with their great leader, Dengichich? Uh, I probably should have seen that one coming, shouldn't I? God damn it, everywhere I go, someone else just has to turn... Now the Saxons are here! Just let me have somewhere in peace, god damn it! I only just realised that Scotland's been cut off. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why have they cut Scotland off? Oh, I forgot, if you take London, then the Romano-British turn up, which is a weird faction. Which is it supposed to be like King Arthur or something dumb? I can't remember, but either way, it doesn't matter because they have monks. Yeah, monks. MONKS! Really, run them down! Uh oh watch out, we got more monks going. <gasps> They're doing the secret power. They're team posing! <laughs> Why do they have so many damn monks? Look at them just T-posing away! Get out of here! We don't want any of your monkey business! Uh, sorry, monk. Monk business. Monkey business. <laughs> I'm not calling the monks monkey. Oh yeah, Saxons declared war on me, but as soon as they saw me take care of those monks, immediately wanted a ceasefire. So in case you didn't know, the best way to play the Huns in this game is just obviously to get a really big army, uh, make sure it's basically entirely horses, and um, oh, I, I've, I've actually set them up the wrong way. Hold on, don't do that. Actually, you know what? Do do that. That's exactly what Tekjun the Hun would have would have wanted you to do. Just set your army up the wrong way. That way your enemy's like, oh, these guys, they're a bunch of idiots. And then they just see the um, the massive dust storm coming towards them. So yeah, you, you just wanna you just wanna pepper up your enemy first off with your bow and arrow people, your archers, your horseback riders. Um, just just take them out, you know, weaken them up a little. Okay, but get that get them a bit, you know, into the mood that they're all going to die. Um, then once you think they're sufficiently in the mood to die, you just send in your entire cavalry army to run them over. Yeah, there's not really much else to it than that. You just sort of build horses, um, set horses in your army, and then run horses directly at your enemy. And uh, that, that, usually, that usually does the trick. I mean, if you can be bothered, you can also bring your horses round the back and just start taking them from behind, like a real Hunnic man. Um, of course, I, I learned this one from Wikipedia. The Huns only went in from behind. Right now, I don't want to say I got nostalgia goggles going on or anything, but uh, I've got to say, Barbarian Invasion actually, is actually holds up. It, it's a really fun game. I, many people might not have played it, or they, they might have. I, I, I really don't know. I never hear anyone talk about the DLCs for Total War, but Barbarian Invasion is actually a pretty good game. I don't know if people have tried it, like I said, but if you want to try it, it's part of the Rome Total War Gold expansion. No, I think you just need Rome Total War Gold, and you have all of the DLC except Alexander, which is, again, 
for some reason, independent. I, I, I don't understand why. But either way, I think we're going to leave it off here for today. I did manage to take over the UK as the Huns for whatever reason. It was pretty fun. Fun stuff to do. Uh, but uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if we get like 20,000 likes on this video, I'll play actual Attila Total War. That game, I don't want to play that. I, actually, I'm striking that from the record. Buy my merch.